Hello, I am Deepthi and I welcome you to the fourth episode of Talk Physics. From the third episode, we are trying to understand the physics hidden in music. We began by understanding what waves are using an example of passing the parcel game. In that game, a parcel is transported from one end to the other end and not the individuals who are transporting it. Similarly, in a wave, energy is transported from one end to the other end and not the molecules of the medium through which it is traveling. Now, after getting to know what waves are, let us go to the next question. Where do sound waves originate from? If you remember, in the last talk, I had mentioned a keyword, vibrations. Now what I want you to do is think of any sound and then try to imagine which vibrations would have produced that sound. Ready? Yes. Which sounds did you think of? Maybe some of you thought about your favorite singer singing a song. That happens due to vibrations of vocal cords. Maybe some other people thought about musical instruments where plucking of strings or vibrations of the membrane are going to cause the sound. Well, now we need to know that after these sound waves are produced through vibrations, how are we able to hear them? These sound waves move through the air. When they move, each air molecule vibrates back and forth, hitting the air molecule next to it, which then also vibrates back and forth. Now, when I say vibrate, what I mean to say is the air molecule moves away from the rest point and then eventually returns to it. So basically, the individual air molecule do not travel with the wave. There is a progression of collisions that pass through the air as a sound wave. When these vibrations enter the outer ear, our eardrum vibrates too. Then of course, there is some intricate biology after which we are able to hear. So now we know that there is a source there is a medium and then there is a detector, which in our case, it's our ears. In our next episode, we'll get to know about some more things about physics hidden in music. Till then, bye.